Good morning, church. I hope you're all having an amazing morning. My name is Mikolai and I'm part of the Audacious Central Campus in Manchester and I serve on the youth team. So today I'll be talking about two verses from the Bible that are in the New Testament and that link to an amazing experience I had on the Cardiff mission trip this year. So the two verses are Mark 12, 31, which says, love your neighbour as yourself, and Matthew 9, 10, uh, which says, while Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples, and that's both the NIV version. So with these verses, it's gonna to link to my story of an experience I had during the Cardiff mission trip. And it, the story starts with a group of us from um, Audacious, different uh, uh, churches from Audacious, different campuses. And we were out in the Cardiff city centre, giving out, you know, snacks, um, like so cookies and water, basically just connecting with the community, making sure that they feel loved, they feel known, and simply sharing the gospel and sharing what the church is all about, what Audacious is all about, you know, and seeing if we have an opportunity to to invite them to church. So while we were giving out these like snacks and uh, water, we, uh, the group that I was with, we saw a, a group sitting on a field and they didn't necessarily look like the, the kind of people that were very approachable or definitely didn't want to hear the word of God, you know, didn't really want to hear about church. And that, that was just from the first per perception, you know, of them. And, um, we were nervous about going up to them, but we thought, you know what, Let, let's go for it. Let's, we just dug up the courage and went for it, you know? So we went over to them, said hi, gave them some snacks and water and started to talk to them about who we were as Audacious Church, what we're doing. And at first they were, they, you could see they were a bit defensive. They, they kind of had their guard up in that way because, you know, they heard the word church and straight away they thought, you know, most likely that these people are gonna judge us, but. I was talking to two people, a guy and a girl from that group, and I, I said to them just very plainly, I, I said to them, you know, we're not here to force Jesus on you or church on you or, or use, use the word that people say, you know, Bible bash. I told them, I'm, we're, we're not here to do that. And straight away, you just saw something in their personality and their demeanor just switch. You saw that they, um, they just like let the guard down basically. And that, that was amazing to see and then, because of that, because of simply saying to them that we're not here to judge you, we're just here to, you know, spread love and literally just have a conversation. They, they then opened up a lot about their lives, what they were going through, the good, the bad, and because of that uh, conversation, one of the one of the girls we were talking to, she she gave us the opportunity to, to actually pray over her situation that she was going through, and we prayed for her. It was amazing. Said bye to the group. And overall, the, the group was left with, you know, snacks and water and just was very happy. You know, you could just see that they were happy, much more relaxed after the, the encounter that we had with them. So this experience really stood out to me because it shows how we should behave as a church and as Christians, because we shouldn't be judging and condemning people, you know, even if they look like the people that would judge us or, or you know, take the mick out of us because we are... Christians, we, we sh our first thought shouldn't be to judge them, but it should be to love like Jesus loved because um, that's what Jesus did throughout the whole Bible. You know, he made relationships with those that seemed like outcasts, that seemed far away from him. So we should instead be personal with them, treat them with honesty and respect as Jesus did. So going back to the verses, um, as we see in Matthew 9, 10, Jesus focused on those who were away from him, he sat down with those tax collectors and sinners at a table and had a meal with them. The first thing he did wasn't judge them for who they were, for the lifestyles they lived, but instead he sat down with them, had a meal with them, had a conversation, was in fellowship with them, which is amazing because I know many of us, even I, would struggle to do that at times because the first thing you may think is judgment instead of love. But Jesus sets that perfect example for us to, to follow. So because of Jesus' like actions, people change, not because of shame and judgment, but because of his love, because of his relationship with them. And that changed them um, in, a, in a really amazing way, as we see in many different uh, stories in the Bible. So I would encourage you, church, to think and see through a lens of love when interacting with everyone today, 
whether you've known them for years or you've known them simply just for five minutes. And um, about the verse, like uh, I said in Mark 12, 31, uh, like it says Mark 12, 31, love your neighbor as yourself. You know, first to love others, we must love ourselves. So if you struggle to love others, maybe, um, and you just find it, it's kind of like a barrier, you know? I'd say spend time with God and learn to love yourself before we can love anyone else because we can't lead others to Jesus. We can't lead others in love if we can't lead ourselves in love, simply saying. So I'd encourage you to see through the lens of love today and I'll leave you with a question to ask yourself. So the question is, do I live a life of love that makes people feel comfortable around me? So it's a pretty big question, but that's where I'll leave you with. And the quote of the day is, let let's let God's love be the lens that you choose to look through today. So that's the quote. And I just really encourage you guys to spend time with God and look through a lens of love today. And yeah, have an amazing day. Have an amazing morning. Thank you for listening to me. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you.